for it off the top of the tank, then we could set it into that tube there. All right, we're ready to put our stub shaft in. Probably just plug in right off one of them outlets, Jay. Yep. Actually, that tightened up. <laughs> I'm not too fond of this because uh, what'll happen is you know you'll have to get torches in there. But if we just weld quick, the impact will actually break, break it. So I wish I would have had bolts just a little longer. Um, that's not the case. So uh, the bolt's long enough for the nut to work, but I've just got regular nuts on there. So I'm going to tack weld the end just so that the nut doesn't come off. Then we're going to be able to set uh, this back in. Uh, Jay was so kind to bring the welder over. He's handing me a helmet. Oh man, my headlight's in the way. It's going to work though, because I ain't got to do much. Okay. All right, this is what we've got going on here now. Uh, got our stub shaft cleaned up. We've got the stub shaft back into the auger. We had to pull the auger out to clean all that garbage off of the uh, auger. Now, there's one thing I don't know, Jay. Why in the heck is that piece cut out? Is it cut out or is it broke? You know, I wouldn't think it'd be, you ain't, got, you ain't got enough hydraulic motor on there to break it. So, um, I guess I don't know why that auger's cut out like that, but maybe somebody from Mench be watching this video and they can answer that question. So, we're going to lift this auger up, we're going to slide it back in. I'll get down inside the tank, set our... Uh, seal on there get that seal plate and everything uh and the auger pushed back through it get the bolts lined up jason will set the bearing on and then we'll bolt the back end tight and then uh we could finish that once we get the front done so uh james went down to napa now to get a bearing for the front so we're going to go ahead and work on this without him. He's going to be disappointed, but um, I don't think he'll mind. So, uh, i got to get my fan back plugged in up above there. Get my fresh air working. Alright, so we're going to get the... Man, it's freaking nice out. Look at it out there. 
Yuck. It was uh, like 32 degrees this morning and everything was glare ice. Oh. I don't know if that was... Yeah, that was thunder. Huh. That was thunder. You hear that? Yeah. Um. Yeah, so Jay's waiting for me, so yeah. Okay. Alright, so get, get, get most of the work. Alright. What I want to do now is I want to get my uh, gaskets. I want to get that rubber gasket. And I want to get the seal, uh, set that on the shaft, and then, I don't know if the tow must get it or not, we might have to wait for James to get back here, so I'm going to grab that now, jump up in the tank, set that on there, and then Jay will be back in here in a minute, and we'll manhandle that in there. Alright, we've got what we need to... Uh, Gotta climb up on there with all my stuff here. We've got what we need. We've got a fan that we are pushing or actually sucking crap air out. So, uh, climb down in here without falling in here. Make sure I get my rope fixture out right. Alright, so like I said, these. Cat lights here, uh, Brian Sessler, give me them. They are magnetic mount, so I'll stick one to this side of the tank, and I'll stick this one to this side, and that gives me work inside the or light inside the tank. So, guys, got that one fell. So, let's set this on here like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so this is going to go up over there like that. I had to pick my light up and fell down in the poop. Alright, so, I clean part of the tank off so we can get some good metal there. There, so you got that in there like that. I gotta get my ladder up out of here because I've got to be able to. Uh, oh, come on now. There's two lights that have fallen so far. Alright. This guy's alright though. Yeah, they're pretty rugged. Uh, yeah. Stick that guy right back up there. Alright, so them guys are on the back there, or up front rather. I'm going to take this rope, send this down over this end here, and I'm going to lift while they push. And I think that's going to work. Man, I don't know. Ah! Uh, 
एक She's gonna go. You wanna try it once more? Yep. Alright. Go ahead. Okay. Um what's that? Yeah, I've set the bearing on. I've gotta get the um Bolts here yet. <sighs> oh, you got a punch? Have him hand you up a punch there. Uh, don't fall off that tank, James. Jeez. Oh, perfect. All right. I might as well get the uh, bolts in. Ah, there's one. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, my hip is failing me. Ooh. got the bearings all tightened up and in place. We're done in the inside. We can get back out. Now this is a vacuum unit and what it has is these um, balls in here and when the, the vacuum, the suction is all coming from back there and uh, when the tank gets full so that you don't end up sucking manure in through the, the vacuum unit itself these balls will go up into place and it'll plug the unit off. 
so that the manure doesn't end up um, getting into the end of the pump itself. So drop the light again, set that there. There's one light. There's another one. that front burn on there. I've got to set down uh, this front cover. And it, yeah. Yeah. That goes on this side. That end. You're in. Okay. You're all right. Yep. You're all right. All right. Here's this ladder. Is there vice grips down there? Uh, yes. Big ones? Alright, so I don't have them in the tank no more. Uh, one at a time. Alright, I could put this lid on, but that front lid, I'll set it down to you. The hold downs have got to be uh, snugged up. And then... I don't know if I've got a gasket upstairs. I think I do. And uh, we can get put the new gasket on. Then we'll finish the front and finish the back. <coughs> okay. Now, if I can climb down off of this thing without falling. Camera is a little dirty. I have to clean that little guy up tonight. Oh. All right, so we just got to put the bearing on there. Help Jay get the back finished up. All right, we got to drive this back a little bit. Grab a sledgehammer, Jay. Alright, we're just checking the rear here to see if we can get a snap ring on there. Oh, I can't see it. Can you see it, Jay? Uh, actually, that's going to have to come up more, Andy. It's got to come back more? Come, yep. What, well, can you just about see it now? Yeah, it's getting close. Okay. Alright, so... Jay's gonna whack that back again. That first couple hits, that went right, right there. You know, it moved. Need that little more. Yeah. All right, we were, ah, uh, the wood was too soft. It wasn't giving us what we needed. So we're gonna hit right on the end now. We stuck a bolt in there in the threaded part with some washers on there and tightened it right up. So now steel to steel, that should do the trick. Why don't you climb underneath, Jay, and I'll whack it. Oh, okay. I'll whack it any further we need to. So. Okay. It's there? Yep. 
All right, so steel to steel, that did the trick. Jay's able to put his snap ring on. Now we can pull this bolt out and throw it away because I damaged it. And, um, all right, so I got my bolt out. I'll throw this one away. Jay's putting a snap ring on the back now. Um, it should be just about, he's a perfect guy to work on this. Bang, he got it snapped in there. You guys just about heard that. All right, hold up right there, Jay. Why don't I slam this shaft into you, and uh, you can line that up on there. Do you want me to do the... What do you want? Oh, you got... Well, you can tighten the snap rings up after, or the yeah, yeah. set sure. screws. Okay. So, yeah. all right, I'll set that into you. Um, That's only a bolt that holds that in? Yeah. Okay. We're ready to slam this up in there, right, Jay? Yeah, I'm hoping. Just gotta tighten the eccentric collar up on the bearing. These eccentric collars, they are left or right hand thread. You want to spin the collar in the opposite direction from which the shaft is turning so that the whole time while the shaft is turning, it's never gonna loosen that collar up. It's always gonna to want to tighten itself into the collar. So this auger turns counterclockwise. So we want to drive this collar clockwise. So, uh, they are hooking the shaft up on the back. They've got to get that lined up. They're just about done. Yeah, and we're going to be ready. Right we're going to be ready. What do you got? Like that. Okay, so you so got to... we need some underneath because we're using this to kind of pull the whole thing okay. back. Okay, all right. And the set screws are loose, right? Yep. Okay. All right, so just a couple minutes here and we'll be done. And uh, 
we have to go up and we have to clean one of the heifer barns. Uh, so it's a uh, quarter to six right now. So, all right, we've got her done. Uh, the boys helped me finish her up here. Shaft is out in the back. The bearing it is in there. Grease line is hooked up. Got the shaft hooked up on the back. Both the universals are greased. The bearing up front is greased. And, ha! Uh, had to put a new gasket on that man pass door on that side. And we've got the um, new bearing loaded in on the front here. That's all the string and crap that came off the auger. And when we pulled the auger out, we're going to back up a little bit suck that manure up off the shop floor. I'm going to dump all my clothes in the washing machine. They're going to run up and uh, clean the heifer barn now. We're going to run up there and uh, do a little video on one of these gents is going to run the uh, you don't want to put a back truck on here. The top of the cab so it's pointing down. What's that? Oh yeah, maybe I could. Yeah. yeah. Let me grab one. I got one in here. Alright, Sarge is going to run the uh, Run the back truck, it's going to clean up the mess, closing the front door, opening up the blades, we just going to back up, start the back unit, suck that manure up. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll catch you at the next video.